What's up everyone? So this is the second video of Lua Snip video series. In this video we are going to install Lua Snip and we are going to configure some key binds. In the end I will try some of those key binds um, using a really really simple Lua Snip or snippet we are going to create using Lua Snip. Alright, if you scroll down a little bit to install section you will find instructions for two package managers packer and lazy i'm using lazy so my configuration will look something similar to this but if you're using packer um you can use this you have to re replace the version of course so before that let me show you the configuration i have so this is where everything starts i have a bunch of imports you don't have to worry about i have this lua directory in which i'm going to create my modules i have user this is my plugin configuration lazy nvm is the plugin manager i'm using i have configured the plugin path to be user plugins so whenever i'm creating a new module inside user plugins it will automatically be um, imported by um, lazy nvm and the plugin will be installed installed based on the instructions i have provided or rather table written from the module all right, so let's get started. I'm going to start up a new terminal window and fire up NVIM. So let's go to user and uh, plugins. I'm going to create a new module called Lua Snip. Here I'm going to return a table. The first element should be the plugin name. Usually it's the username and the repository name so something like this then i'm going to set the version i'll just hard code the entire thing 1.2.1 is the version then we are going to set an event to load this particular plugin event I think you don't have to do that in Packer, uh, but this is lazy and I have set everything to be lazy loaded. So I'm going to load this in very lazy. Then I'm going to configure. So config and we are going to create a function here. In here I'm going to create some uh, key binds. So um, if you scroll down a little bit to key maps, you will some you you will find some uh, Vim script uh, key binds. I don't like this. Um, I'm usually comfortable with Lua, so I have created the same thing, same uh, key binds in well. Key binds are different, but the functionality is the same. But it's in Lua. So you will find the link in the description below if you want to use this. I'm using this instead. So click on row and copy everything we have here and paste all that into the function, config function rather. I don't have a format so I'll just manually format all this. Looks good and if you um, Check the content, you can see I have, I'm setting four different key binds, one for expanding, uh, jump previous, um, change choice, refresh snippets. And here we need to update this uh, package path in order to reload that particular package path when we hit comma R. So um, the location I'm going to create all my snippets um, is user snippets so here i will create another module so i'm going to set user snips like that next let's create user snips module so e do a user snips dot lua here i'm going to create a really simple snippet now let's go to doc lua snip you can open this up in help doc as well using help command 
either way you will find some predefined uh, variable names for some of the apis in lua snip i highly recommend you using the same names for variables for example as for snippet use the same thing so it's not confusing um okay first of all we are going to import lua snip of course so go to the configuration and import that next we are going to get snippet to create a snippet then we are going to create a really simple text node all right so let's get started um, i'm going to add snippets uh, for lua language so add snippets first parameter should be the language we are going to work with or file type we are going to um, load these snippets i'm creating uh, snippets for lua second parameter should be a table which contains bunch of uh, snippets now to create a snippet you can use function s so here we go function s the first parameter should be the trigger character i'll just use h you can add multiple characters as well that's totally fine but i'll just go with h and I'm going to create a text node so whenever this expands it's going to expand into this particular text node we are going to create so T is the text node and I'm going to say hello world simple as that at the moment I have not imported this module uh, anywhere so I'm going to go back to my uh, Lua snip configuration uh, plugin configuration and load this module so E Lua user plugins um, Lua snip let's go to the top of the config function and require the module user snips just like that we have completed creating our first snippet I'm going to close the window or NeoVim rather and rerun NeoVim let's open up uh, init.lua and let's try if this is working i'm going to add the character h and i'm going to hit ctrl i because that's the con um, configured key bind to expand a snippet so ctrl i and it should say hello world let's see if this um these snippets are being reloaded correctly so i'll open up um the snippet i have created once again And I'm going to change the hello world to something else let's call it test now and I'm going to this window hit comma R in normal mode and I'm going to add H here and once again control I to generate the snippet and it says test so keybinds are working as expected and we can create a snippet so this is this is good Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how we can use insert node for creating snippets. And this time around, it's going to be a useful one. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a nice day.